no shorty and she doesn't want no slow song. Had a man last year. Yo, we're back out here with some more Fortnite real quick. Now today, as you guys can tell by the title, and most likely the thumbnail as well, we're going to be talking about camos and more customization coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Now you guys know, if you've been playing for a while, you know that like as the seasons go on, we get a lot more customization. We have like emotes coming, like more dances, all that different stuff. We had more character customization in terms of the back blings. I think in season four, we then got to the point where you was able to upgrade your skins, like legit level them up to change them completely. We see that in season five as well. Like I said, back bling, that wasn't I think initially at all. You wasn't able to like change your black bling or add a black bling or different stuff or mix and match. So as the seasons go on, they had a lot more customization to the game and that's why we're talking about this. Now first of all, I do want to say the thumbnail, a lot of the key parts of the thumbnail do come and the concept was made by someone over on Reddit. That's where I got it from. So I do want to give him credit. Obviously the original Reddit link will be in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. But it's 55 throwaway one on Reddit. That's the username for him. So of course a lot of credit goes to him for this concept right here. So it looks pretty cool. But obviously before I get into more of that, you guys know I'm going to be giving away some skins once the gifting system does come out. My locker skins, I'm going to be buying some skins for some of you guys as well. All I need you guys to do is smash like button on this video real quick. Let's see how many likes we can get. And also make sure you spam up KB in the comments down below. Legit, do it as many times as you want. More times you do it, you'll probably get a bigger chance. But yeah, just make sure you do those things, man. Also, if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I mean, you don't really have to be subscribed for that. But just in general, if you do like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel real quick, man. I would appreciate it. <laughs> As you guys can see from this concept right here, you can change the paint job on the weapon, which is essentially the camo. This one right here has got like a red camo on it. I'm thinking like in the future we will have this and like you can get camos from like battle pass tiers and all different stuff. Like there'll be a point where it's added into the battle pass and essentially you can get certain camos as you level it up. Maybe you can do a system where once you get like a certain amount of kills with a certain weapon, you'll get a certain camo. Like implementing things from like different games, so, like progressing with different weapons will unlock you better camos. So once you pick those weapons up in game, you'll have like a special camo. So you got the paint job there. You've also got stickers that you can add to it. Cause like, hold on, let me show you guys actually in game what the stickers are like. So stickers are essentially these things right here, the emoticons. So you could put them like the yeah, are stickers. If you look at it, like they actually are stickers. They got like the white outline around them. So you'd be able to like put them onto your camo as well. Just add more customization to them. So it gives like a better use for all of these to be fair, because most likely you're not gonna use these. If you have dances and stuff like that, I know a lot of people do not use these for anything. So what they could go towards is like a sticker on your weapon camo, which would be pretty cool. Like that scar that you guys can see in this picture right now, looks clean as hell. I want to know what you guys think, man. Do you think that's a good idea to add like a workshop? It could be at the top right here. So you got lobby, battle pass, challenges, locker, and then workshop right next to it. That would be pretty cool. Where you can change the camos, add stickers to your camos, and all that different stuff. Maybe it will work by like weapon types. So like assault rifles, you can put like a camo onto them. Or maybe it's like each individual weapon if you want to. The way you can add a camo to that weapon. Like I'm just thinking the way you could add more challenges in here in terms of like weapon challenges. Get a certain amount of kills in one match. Get a certain amount of kills in general. It all adds up. Say, say for example, let's say, let's say five. 500 kills, you get 500 kills and you get like a gold camo. That would be clean as hell. And the reason why I bring all this up and this isn't like too far in the sense that we're just making stuff up is because like in the files we've seen customization for the buggies or the golf carts that have just recently been added into the game. We've seen like different customizations for them that you can do in game that will be coming pretty soon. So if they're adding customization for golf carts, I would not add customization for like the weapons that are in the game as well just to add more creativity because in reality you do have to do something like this eventually. Like you have to add more element of you know objective if you know what I mean like they have to work towards something and in my opinion this would be a great thing to do like for real think about it so you have to work towards getting certain camos i know it's like college and all different stuff but it, it does give you like an objective i've had a lot of fun in college like going for camos trying to get them as quick as possible trying to get them before everyone else it creates a lot more content and it also creates a lot more objective for you guys once you play you want to get a camo before your friends and all different stuff and if the camo looks cool it will be sick we've got stuff for skins now we've got challenges for skins to get and all different stuff like the blockbuster skin or the road trip skin in this season so if we could have like a like a a blockbuster camo if you know what i'm saying that will work pretty well hold up let me look around let's double check first just in case okay blue ar i'll take that get this chest down here but uh, yeah i think it would work pretty cool but now there are some like complications to it in a sense that how the camo work i have thought about this so i could talk about it more within this video so i'm thinking right because you gotta think how is it gonna work so if someone drops the scar does the camo change when you pick it up to your camo i'm thinking it has to be from like the default spawn so say if i pick up a scar like if i pick up this weapon i have a camo on this weapon this is the default spawn no one's dropped this so i could pick this up and it would have my camo on it or if it's from a chest same thing but it'd be different if someone else only picked it up i killed them picked up their weapon it would have their camo on it but yeah you know what i'm saying there's gonna there's gonna be some like limitations or like restrictions to it and i think that would be the best thing to do oh, there's no chest up here might be minis though to be fair any minis oh oh yo 
When I tell you that scared the life out of me. When I tell <laughs> when I tell you that scared the life out of me, mate. I need to start playing with both earphones in. I can't be going through that. I didn't even hear him. I didn't even hear him until he got like right on top of me, mate. He had a red he had the nut he had the nutcracker skin. It just took a whole L. I don't know how how he managed to lose that. I need some more, I need another big pot. That's what I need. In fact, there's a chest in here. Oh, there's someone here. Okay, all right. I'm not entering any more buildings. I'm gonna check out retail a little bit from, the, ooh, someone just got 20, 27 meters. Right, so someone's, someone's in the port for, I believe. Ooh. Man, solos are stressful as hell. <laughs> hey, is it just me who feels like everyone's good at this game now? Like, for real? Like, everyone can build, everyone knows when to push, all that different stuff. Like, in order to stay good, you're gonna have to play this game a lot, man, because people are playing a lot already. Like I said, everyone's trying to get better at this thing. got this guy so i know for a fact the second guy is going to be waiting for me he knows what he's doing he's going to the circle i needed to kill that guy as quick as possible oh is that him okay Go. That's all we needed to do. Bro, I kind of need to get your stuff. I've not got the greatest stuff right now. Let's get there. Get a chug jug as well. You know what? I drink the chug jug, right? I mean, I'm pick up. I'm gonna pick up the minis back again because like, I haven't got any slots for it. So I might as well get back to 100 whilst it's here rather than you know leaving it. I had nine minutes. I didn't want to waste those and just drop those for the chug jug. We got him. Yo, good job I did that. All that loot's there. He's heated as hell. You know that for a fact. Gotta look around for a second. We got 11 seconds. To... In fact, yo, I gotta go. I wanna get that loot too. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get that loot. Just in case he had anything worthwhile. I know for a fact I can outrun this storm. Let's go. Okay. I haven't got a sniper, so I can't even challenge that guy, to be honest. I heard him. What just happened? I think I heard him, like, on top of me. Well, oh, he's got to come to me. Come on, mate. <laughs> Bro, you should have tried that. But where's the other guy, though? Is he in the divot? Oh, there he is. What the hell were you doing? <laughs> Yo, he was chilling. He was actually. <laughs>